the best acts around. As you heard, the Las Vegas Porto Awards all over the country. Terrific. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a nice hand for the comedy of Otto and George. Come on, give it a hand. Otto and George. Peter Bells, come on. What a gentleman. Nice guy in the business. Let's hear it. Yeah. Peter Bells, you lazy. Chips Coney, sub television. What the fuck was that? Uh, <laughs> Let's hear it for our waitresses. Thanks for coming out tonight, folks. Yeah, thanks for coming. I hope I do. Oh, it looks like a good crowd. Yeah, they're all right. I've seen happier faces at a rectal itch convention. <laughs> Who's from Newark? Anybody from Newark here? Yeah. Uh, Newark, hey, I'll make you feel at home. Freeze, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> all right. Newark's all right. We live over by the Meadowlands. Where there's air pollution. Yeah, it's fucking polluted. If you fart in a car, they roll the windows up, you know. Hey, roll it up. That's a broccoli fart. Those are good. Don't let that out. They're very mild. Next time you drive by that airport, take a shit in the car and scotch guard the windows. Polluted fucking shithole. Okay. You gonna eat dinner up there tonight? What? Oh, you're afraid to answer? Who's working your head, lady? All right. I'm afraid to answer. Ugh. All right. Uh, never mind. Uh, <clears throat> I enjoyed you in The Shining. You were very good. Right now, um... Anybody here from New York? Yeah! Oh, kill yourself. All right. I drive the taxi in Midtown. Anybody here recognize me? <laughs> Uh, 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 at least I speak fucking English. You get in a cab and I don't know a word of English. Hey man, take me to Madison Square Garden. Please, my friend, I bought your money in the S. I do not know. I bought your money in the S. All right. Fucking cranky foreigners with C4 in the trunk of the car. For Allah! For Allah! Okay. Look at this guy. Can you get me skinnier, sir? All right. Look like you fell out of the coffin. Leave him alone. <laughs> you hear that? Hostility. You're making him hostile. I fuck your mother in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody live in Manhattan? Uh, oh, he has that. Anybody live in the Bronx? The Brooklyn? The Brooklyn. <laughs> you guys like the governor in New York, Pataki? What kind of fucking name is Pataki? Sounds like something you stepped in on the way to the car. Hey, that's Pataki, don't walk in that shit. Uh, you got the whole fucking log in your shoe, don't get in my car. <laughs> Nani, I made it Pataki. <laughs> he uh, brought the death waitress a cock. Okay. <laughs> Can I have a cocktail? A cock? <laughs> George, don't hassle them when they're working. That's a hard job, you know. Thank you. What the fuck is hard about being a waitress? You walk over and you go, Would you like a cocktail before dinner? And then you don't see the bitch for two hours. All right. Nice and I fucking drink your walk. All right. <laughs> Are you the art teacher? You're Mark's art teacher? Was? We have a teacher in the audience here. How many students are here? Anybody in college? Yeah. You go to college? Nah, I gotta quit school to support my family. What about your father? He couldn't quit. He was too close to graduation. <laughs> Thank you, lady. Have a cocktail. <laughs> I fucking hated school. One time I was in the first grade, the teacher gave everybody a piece of chalk. She said, draw whatever you want. So I pushed her out of the fucking window and traced her body on the sidewalk. Because <laughs> she was a whore. With a stank at pussy. She goes, stank at pussy. I need the licks of my ass. This is George. Uh... Yeah. Ugh. Now they got good food here. They got a Puerto Rican cook. I hit. I get into a cheeseburger here. I chip my fucking tooth on a crack vial. All right. Any Puerto Ricans here? Jose. Jose. Okay. Five O. Policia. All right. I was fucking yelling for the cops are coming. Five O. Five O. You skinny Audrey Hepburn rat cocksucker. <laughs> Fuck you, dummy. You hear that shit? All right. Uh, I 
didn't bring my water up with me. I was going to toast the... Uh, oh, it is. Thanks, man. Look at the arms on this fucking lumox. All right. This guy got a hit with an axe. What are you doing, you dizzy fucking motherfucker? Drink it, you fucking nervous Jew cocksucker. Don't yell at me like that. I fuck your mother in the ass, my friend. I fuck your mother in the ass. Okay. And you're a big guy, huh? Do you jerk off with sandpaper, sir? I like to bang you in the ass while you're wearing a Santa hat. All right. Who's this, your friend? Ugh. Leave him alone. How you doing, sir? Nice checkered shirt. <laughs> Loser. All right. Where are you going, assembly with that fucking shirt? I fuck him on in this. Right. You've been banged in the ass by a puppet wearing a Santa hat, sir? You should get out more. All right. Leave him alone now. See that? Okay, take it easy. I go up faster than Richard Pryor. All right. I want to burn me. He's jealous. I got a wooden cock. I stay hard when I'm drunk. What are we doing here? Are we having a fight? What are we doing? Uh, you know you're fucking useless to me? Tongue my asshole. Cut it out. Get a tongue out of puppet's ass? No. What are you, gay? Stick your fucking tongue in my starfish. That's enough. Tongue my ass, George. If I ever get a girl that'll tongue my starfish, I'll fucking marry that one. That's a team player. Stick your tongue in my ass. All right. George, there are ladies here. We have mothers here. Ugh. How many people are married? Anybody uh, engaged? You guys are married? You're married? Where'd you go on your honeymoon? You went to England? Really? Did you enjoy it, lady? Ugh. All right. You fucking speak regular and she laughs in your face. It's good you got to see England. Usually women don't see their honeymoon. You take them to Jamaica, you go, How is Jamaica? I saw this. All right. I went from the airport to a cock. I missed the whole trip. I heard steel drums at one point. I think I was somewhere. I was sucking a cock for three weeks. Okay. I'll send you a postcard from the testicles. Okay. Suck that cock. Uh, so it's going to be one of those shows. Bartender, steal. Stop it. They're all looking up here. Steal a 20. Come on. Uh, he's broke. He's always fucking broke and borrowing. Uh, wipe the tears of joy away there, Hercules. That's enough. Uh, crying is good. So who voted for Clinton here, our president? Yeah. Good man, right? I need to lick some ass. All right. We need health care for our old, education for our young, and I need to lick some ass. Okay. Hillary got a spanking pussy. I'm going to lick her ass. All right. You know, they said Hillary might be a dyke, so Clinton beat Bush, and she licked it. Okay. <laughs> Got a little respect for the first lady. I fuck your mother in the ass. I'd like to meet Hillary. Hillary, suck my cock. I got some white water for you in there. All right. Oh, did I offend you? Who gives a shit? All right. I'll take a shit right here. Somebody's having bottled water? That's good. We have health-conscious people here. What brand is that? Liberty Springs. Tap water. Screw you know it's good to Poland Spring. That's the best. That's the first bottle of water they ever sold. Because only a fucking Polak would pay for water in the first fucking place. They had to try it out on some jerk off. How much is water? A dollar fifty, idiot. You want a bag of sand to go with that? <laughs> Eyes up front, sir. You do a lot of sit-ups, huh? It's showing. Okay, we below you. George, uh, they didn't come here to be insulted. Where do they usually go? Okay. Bottled water. I like Snapple. They got a good commercial. Snapple, made from the best stuff on earth. Chocolate, Thai weed, and pussy. All right. I like that. That's how black guys pick up women. They go up to a girl and they go, pussy. All right. Ain't that romantic? Pussy. 
A stank of pussy. I was dating a black girl for a while. Yeah? You ever seen a black vagina? Don't it look like a wallet? No. I expected this girl to open her legs and business cards fall on the floor. Uh, lady, you're dropping some change in a bus pass. Okay. Close your fucking legs there, Jackie Brown. All right. Who's that? George. You know the difference between a pussy and a cunt? A pussy is the furry patch between a woman's legs that you want to kiss and caress, and a cunt is the one who owns it. What is that about? What is that? Stop cursing. Ah, the little loose, suck that cock. And it's, you know, you can't do this on, can you clean that up for Letterman? I can't. Don't you want to be on TV? Yeah, I'd like to do Sesame Street. I'm a fucking puppet. Why don't they call? That show sucks without me. Say, what do I got to fuck Miss Piggy to do that show? I'll pluck the bitch. I'll make bacon shoot out of her ass, too. Miss Piggy got a stank at pussy. Old stank at pussy piggy. Pussy smells like sizzling and hot garbage. I need to lick some ass. <laughs> Up in Sesame Street. Today's show is brought to you by the letter C. Cock. <laughs> Suck that cock. Show us on the doll where he touched you. Look, again. Forget Sesame Street. I fuck your mother in the ass. I fuck your mother in the ass. Who okay. watches PBS here? There's good programming on there. You know, I fucked the girl that worked for PBS. After I fucked her, she sat up in bed and said, my orgasm was made possible by a grant from Mobile Oil. She was a hua with a stank of pussy. Yeah. Give her send um, money to PBS? Money. Yeah. Give her, write him a check, like pledge money? Fuck that shit. Every time you turn on PBS, they're crying for money. Please, viewers, we rely on your donations. For a $40,000 donation, you get this nice tote bag. Really? Is there heroin in the tote bag? Why so much? I fuck your mother in the ass on Easter Sunday when she's putting a hand in the oven. Stop it. Oh, God. So he went to England, huh? Beer's good there? Pretty strong? This guy's fuck. No, he's not. Look at his eyes. He's psycho. No, he's not. Take it easy now, sir. Medication coming. <laughs> what are you drinking in the white cup, miss? Is that monkey cum? That's good. It's good. Did you have him chill it for you? A nice shot of outbreak monkey cum. Cut it out. That's what they do when they run out of blue cheese here. They got a monkey in the back. You know? They got Baywatch on tape. The monkey's in. <laughs> More blue cheese there. <laughs> All right, now. Put George in the jungle on. We need more blue cheese. Right. <laughs> okay. Monkey come, you cocksuckers. All right. I don't think Danny likes when you talk about the food here, George. Oh, Danny don't like when he takes the food, gives a shit. Okay. They actually have the best cheesecake here, if you like that. They got the best cheesecake in New Jersey here. The cook is Puerto Rican. He makes it himself. Yeah? Homemade cheesecake, motherfucker. Really? Yeah. He makes it by scraping the smegma off his uncircumcised cock with a butter knife. Would you like a nice slice of cheesecake? We'll make a fresh pot of coffee. All right. Would you like a nice chilled shot of monkey cum, lady? Okay, come on. So when were you in England? Recently? 13 years ago. You, you, do you have any children? That's good. They got kids? Yeah. You got kids? No, I got kids. You still read Dick and Jane to the little bastards? How much for all them fucking beanie babies? What's that, like a half a million dollars to get them fucking things? Fuck these kids. Okay. Give them an extra sketch. I am in the ass. Do you enjoy your uh, Halloween with your little ones, miss? Yeah. Do you have a favorite Halloween candy? What is it? Candy corn. That's the most popular one. We do this a lot. Remember that candy was like little dots on a piece of paper? 
Remember that? Why don't you just suck my cock instead? All right, that's it. You're a little cranky. What is that, new material? Yes. So, uh, nice crowd. Any, uh, any convicted felons here? We have the electric chair in New York now. Yeah, we do. I was thinking if the guy's in a wheelchair and murders somebody and they give him the electric chair, do they take his ass out of the wheelchair and move him to the electric or do they use jumper cables? Who knows? <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer, they took care of him in prison, didn't they? I love that guy. He brought a fucking head to work with him. I love that guy. He knows how to party. Fuck it, I'm taking the head in today in the bag. When they arrested him, he rented his apartment. I saw the ad. It said, apartment available. Comes with roommate. Some assembly required. I need to lick some ass. So you like Clinton? No? Did you vote for Bush? Who's that? All right, enough. The last guy I voted for was Mike Dukakis, because he had cock in his name. I love him. President Dukakis? Yes. Cock? No more questions. <laughs> Dukakis, he's Greek, right? Yeah, imagine a Greek president. He would have turned the White House into a fucking diner in two days. <laughs> I know. Nikki, coleslaw! Customers! I fuck your mother in this! All right. Don't fuck it out, I fuck your mother in this! Monkey cum, dude. Yeah. Are you hot, Geppetto? Yeah. You fucking sweaty loser. Look at you. All right. You're sweating like Mark Furman at the Million Man March. Easy. <laughs> you meet OJ? I met OJ, man. I just did a Hertz commercial with OJ. Here's a commercial. We're in jail. I'm banging him in the ass with a Santa hat. And then he turns to the camera and goes, Ow, hurts! Okay. He had a good lawyer, that Johnny Cock. Cochran. A cock. That's a good fucking lawyer, Johnny Cock. That guy could get Stevie Wonder a driver's license. A if it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Nick Mac, Patty Whack, give the dog a bone. Pusser! A stank at Pusser! Arrest my case. Okay. I'm gonna lick some ass. <laughs> what the fuck is Judge Ito doing in there? Get that chink out of there. George, I mean, what was he doing? He was the judge. He's not Chinese, he's Japanese. What is that, better? Fuck the Japanese. They're not happy unless a monster is chasing them. <laughs> I mean, shit. Take your laundry to a Chinese laundry. Oh, you forgot your ticket? You fucked up. Two dollar more. <laughs> Fucking Koreans eyeballing you. You buy an apple from a Korean, they go, Did you get that inside or outside? Is there a difference? Fucking chicks. Don't be prejudiced. Yeah, I'm sorry. We're all the same. And if there's ever a nuclear war, we'll all be the same color. Black and extra crispy. Uh, okay, we're gonna do, uh, you know, John F. Kennedy was Bill Clinton's idol, right? Yeah, yeah he got a lot of pussy. Who did? JFK, he got a lot of pussy. Okay. That was our horniest president. He would have fucked a parking meter if there was time in it. <laughs> JFK, boy. He's cool. That's what he'll be remembered for. Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. Richard Nixon, Watergate. JFK, pussy. All right. <laughs> Maybe JFK knew he was gonna die young. That's why he fucked every girl he ran into. You never know when a chunk of your skull is gonna sail out of the limo. Very hard to get an erection when a chunk of your skull is laying in a grassy knoll. Send up five more whores. Okay. <laughs> JFK got a lot of Okay. Fucking guy's riding in a limo, waving at the crowd, thinking about getting back to his hotel, and the next second, a chunk of his skull, the size of an ashtray, is sailing out of that car with chestnut colored hair. Chestnut colored hair. Chestnut colored hair. <laughs> you hot motherfucker? Yeah. Good. Supper. Thank you. Uh, John F. Kennedy's inauguration. Did I say it right? Inauguration? Yes, I think you're fucking retarded. I'm not, I'm not retarded. Run, Flores, run! You cocksucker. Laugh is like a box of chocolates. All right. Listen, uh, 
don't make fun of retarded people, you know, they're mentally challenged. Yeah, they're always saying that shit. We're not retarded! We're mentally challenged! Listen to yourself, you sound like a fucking retard. All right. You laughed at that with Alpha Lightning, man. All right. <laughs> JFK's inauguration. Run, Forrest, run. I'm not a smart man. All right. <laughs> Fucking retard. Okay. JFK said, <clears throat> Do you solemnly swear to uphold the presidency of the United States and the Constitution? I promise to fuck as many oars as there are in Washington. My brother Bobby will help. <laughs> You know, you can get laid if you sound like JFK. Just go up to a girl and go, suck my cock, you dirty little whore. And the girl goes, I think he's got money. Ah, ah, all right. <laughs> Which one are you again? Ah, uh, uh, all right. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not only the hair club president, I am Cy Sperling. Okay. I fuck hookers in the ass and then suck the load out with a crazy straw. And I'm also a client. <laughs> oh, did I offend you? Who gives a shit? I fucked him one in the ass. Okay. Um, Dallas, Texas, right? <coughs> Going to Dallas here. <coughs> All right, uh, well, Mr. President, you can't say they don't love you in Dallas. No, you certainly can't. <laughs> All right, uh, grab the throat and then... Uh, is that too cerebral for you? All right. This is your brain on drugs. Okay. This is your mother's cunt on an escalator. All right, stop that. Shock humor. Shock humor. Yeah. <clears throat> now, JFK, why did it kill JFK and Martin Luther King and Robert Kennedy? All these good people. Why don't they kill somebody who deserves it? Like the guy who invented non alcoholic beer. I think we should fucking kill that homo. Okay. A lot of beer is being drank tonight? Do we have any designated drivers? Any? Fuck that shit. There's a, you gotta drive some drunken asshole home and to thank you, they puke in the fucking car. Ugh, I'm not gonna make it to hell. Next time, give him his keys back and let him hit a fucking tree. That's easier to clean up. <laughs> One guy doesn't drink and then they, they get home safe. Fuck that. How does anybody get talked into this? They call you up. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Nothing. Good. Uh, me and my 18 friends are gonna go out and get fucked up. You wanna drive us around all night, you dopey cocksucker? And bring your sister. We're gonna gang bang her. We're all gonna fuck her and you pay for the gas. And the liquor, too. You pay for that also. Hang up and call me back. I'm paying for this fucking call. What's wrong with me? Now run your tongue down my balls and up my asshole. Stick your tongue in my ass, hee hee. I wish you would stop cursing. So George, you're in show business. You meet anybody famous? I met Madonna, a hua, with a spank at pussy. So you met her? Yeah, in New York. I ran up to her, I kicked her in the ass, 12 cocks fell out. Nine of them were black. Okay. Catholic school, right? Yeah. You know, what time Madonna spread her legs and a Greyhound bus drove out? The driver had a clothespin on his nose and the passengers wanted their money back. One guy had a transfer. Why'd you wear that hot-ass shirt, loser? Why don't you wear a fucking peacoat next time, jerk off? All right. You thought the shirt looked good. Oh, you thought that? Now I'm gonna fucking kill you. <coughs> Madonna fucked a lot of people, didn't she? How stretched out is that box of hers? It's got a drawstring on it like a fucking laundry bag. So I looked in her twat, there was a fabric softener laying on the bottom. I stuck my tongue and it came out fluffy. Okay. It was like a commercial you just did. I fucked your mother in the ass. Madonna, like a virgin, not even close. Madonna, suck that cock. We haven't heard from Michael Jackson in a while. Do you think Michael was sleeping with young boys? Yeah? Fuck that kid, he had it coming. He rode the Ferris wheel all day, didn't pay for one fucking ride. 
A deal's a deal. Get off that ride and sock my cock. I got your thriller right here. All right. Some of those kids were so young after they sucked his cock, he had a birth them. No, you didn't say that. Don't get mad at me. I'm not the one that fucked the kid. They turn on you. Okay. It's not like we're endorsing child molesting or anything. Nah, it's too much of a hassle. You get blood on your clown suit. It ain't worth it. Okay. <laughs> Easy now. Let's pass out sticks here. Um, how about an impression? Would you like to hear an impression? Yeah. Great. Two fucking people out of a hundred. Okay. This is my impression of Clint Eastwood at a Van Halen concert. Go ahead. Jump. Some fucking guy told me I look like Peter Falk. Do I look like that guy? Yeah, you look like Peter Falk. Excuse me, did it rain last Thursday? Excuse me, sir, did it rain last Thursday? Nothing there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> absolutely nothing. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good thing you picked a small, insignificant club to rehearse. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Just keep going, George. Do you girls masturbate? Do you rub your little condition off, lady? <laughs> Throw those legs out there. You're a bad girl. You're gonna get fucked hard. All right. Brush your teeth with my cock. Okay. You have to sweet talk women. They like when you're gentle. Okay. How do you meet women with this attitude? I know how to talk to them. I was talking to this fat girl with blonde hair. You ever see that? Blonde hair and a fat chick? That's like putting whipped cream on dog shit. All right. I like heavy girls. They'll do anything in bed. This girl opened her legs so far, I could see her grandchildren's feet. All right. She had a stank at Smelled like French's mustard. Yeah. And hot garbage. I like that girls should masturbate. It's good. They rub that pussy like a genie's gonna pop out there. I jerk off. I call it hitchhiking to heaven. Jerk off the Baywatch, too. You ever watch that? You ever jerk off the Baywatch? How about you, Hercules? You do that show? Ugh. I jerked off to that one to seven times in one hour. I almost fucking drowned on that episode. <laughs> <laughs> I, was at, I was at Pam Anderson's wedding. The priest came out. He said, do you, Tommy Lee, promise to fuck this whore for two hours and then shoot a load on those tits? Uh, I do? Good. I now pronounce you one lucky motherfucker and white. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Yeah. I'll have some more water. <laughs> <laughs> I like water. Yeah, you would like water. Fish fucking water. Uh, <clears throat> so, does anybody here believe in reincarnation? Yeah. It's nice to see you again, sir. <laughs> you know what you were in your last existence, sir? Were you wearing that same t-shirt, sir? Yeah. That's, um, who is that? That's Felix the Cat. Wonderful. Wonderful cat. I remember that one. Yeah. The bag of tricks, exactly. Okay, you guys want to fucking open up an Etch-A-Sketch and do some lines now, too? All right. <laughs> you know what show they're bringing back? Uh, Let's Make a Deal from uh, the 60s. Do you remember this? Yeah. Monty Hall. Fuck that show. It was impossible to win on that show. He used to go out, all right, I got a deal here. Uh, lady, do you have any turtle shit in your purse? <laughs> Show me your clip for $6. Right. Will you fuck the mule behind curtain number two for 200 in cash? A donkey with a heart on. Lady, the whole crowd wants you to do it, lady. What are you gonna do, go for the curtain or not? All right. You now own a donkey cock. Do you want to keep that cock or trade it in for what Jay Stewart has in the box there? His cock is in that box. But there might be a 50 tape behind his balls. A nice crisp 50 behind the tea bags. All right. A little duct tape will do you. Okay, now. You want to go for the 50 behind the testicles or the cock with the mule in it? All right. All right. Nothing. Just dirt. Do you know 
any clean jokes, uh, George? Uh, no. Uh, I know a clean one. Um, guy goes into a deli and he goes, uh, give me a ham on rye um, with no mustard. And he, the guy says, we're out of mustard. Would you like that without mayonnaise? Cricket. Cricket. Paging Dr. Gavorkian. <laughs> Bring your kit for the mustard joint. What the fuck is that? There's no mustard. Attack. You fucking no talent bag of shit. It was clean. I fucked your mother in the ass. There's no mustard. Attack. Oh, did that suck. All right. You know why Helen Keller can't play piano? Why? Because she's fucking dead. Okay. That's a joke for you, Sherlock. Sure. <laughs> Fucking no talent, you pet old loser. Okay. All right. Just think you should like show them you're a little more versatile and just curse him all the time. Show me versatile. You know who's dirtier than me, Dr. Ruth? You ever heard of that fucking horny pygmy? <laughs> Dr. Ruth. Yeah, everything you ask her is sex. She goes, Ruth, what time is it? She goes, do you masturbate? <laughs> Why, if I jerk off, you'll tell me the time? It'll be later. <laughs> She's a sex therapist. That's her job. What fucking sex is she having? She's 150 fucking years old now. There's no more cream left in her Twinkie. <laughs> Put a toe tag on that pussy. Oh. <laughs> Dr. Ruth got a stank at pussy. Oh. Stop bird shitting in there. Okay. What's the point of this? You gotta use your vagina while you're young. Okay, our teacher? Vagina. <laughs> You must use your vaginas, because when you get to be old like Dr. Ruth's age, your pussy is going to turn to silly buddy, and there's nothing you can do for it. Remember silly buddy? Dr. Ruth can now squat on a newspaper and come up with Garfield on a snatch. Yo, Garfield! All right. I change it every week. Mama Duke was there last week. All right. Oh, boy. Anybody work for an airline here? I like to get good prices. We flew up to Buffalo. Sorry, Buffalo recently. Yeah, Buffalo. They love their wings up there. Yeah, there's a fucking chicken holocaust going on in Buffalo. Nobody's helping the chickens. I wouldn't want to be a fucking chicken living in Buffalo. I'll tell you this right now. <laughs> we, uh, we flew on U.S. Air. Have you heard of that airline? They suck. They had that big crash in Pittsburgh where everybody died. Then they had a new slogan for the airline. Take the plane to the cornfield. That's it. Every time you fly U.S. Air, you crash in a fucking cornfield. That's like a mile from the airport. Why don't they just move the fucking airport to the cornfield? This is your captain speaking. We're crashing in a cornfield. There's butter under the seats. Thank you for flying U.S. Air and suck my cock on the way down. Suck my cock, I'll give you headphones. <laughs> they didn't take a piss on an airplane. They got suction on them toilets. A fucking tear of testicles right off your body. You stand up before you flush and your testicles will be landing in a cornfield. You're eating peanuts, your testicles are in a cornfield. Testicles in a cornfield. Who's unemployed here? Anybody? Oh, I am. You see that show Love Connection on? Yeah. I love that show. I like when the date sucked and they hated each other. And then Chuck Woolery's it. How did the date go? Not that good, Chuck. He called me up drunk from a titty bar. Then he broke in my house, he tied me to the bed, he put a fishbowl on my head and took his shit on my face. Oh, uh, well, if you want to go out with him again, we'll pay for the fishbowl. All right. Get there early, they run out of fishbowls. Okay. That's good, they pay for that, get there early. You like junk food? You ever go to White Castle and you got Yoo-Hoo rocketing out of your asshole for two days after that? Fucking candy ass right off your body. You have fucking retards work there, too. You want cheese on that cheeseburger? Run, Boris, run! You know why White Castle's open 24 hours? They can't teach the health how to close up. Yeah. What are you doing? I felt power there. All right. Get there early. Okay. 
So, uh, you gonna tongue my ass later? No. <clears throat> I'd like to bang you in the ass while Peter Dale sings Beatles songs. Now, that be good therapy too, good not Mac? All right. <clears throat> Anybody see this uh, Godzilla yet? I like King Kong. That was a better movie. The old King Kong, right? I like Jaws. Jaws is a fucking funny movie. The opening scene in Jaws, this drunken hua goes swimming naked, and a shark is there. Da -da She's going, ah! Doesn't this bitch hear the music? Shock, you fucking idiot! I like oral sex. Do you? Yeah. You gonna go down and you ever notice when you think of your girlfriend, all your sandwiches taste like tuna fish? No. I didn't notice that. I'm going out with a Jewish girl, she won't give me head. Fucking sucks. I lay there, instead of the blowjob, I get kisses to my penis, like this. <laughs> go, what is that, your grandmother? What are you on, Hanukkah money? Suck that cock! <laughs> Suck that cock, you dirty little whore! Suck my cock like you're drowning in the balls contain oxygen. <laughs> One time she got a little high and started giving me good head, and then she goes, tell me before you come. Tell you before I come. When I'm going to come, the only thing I can say is, uh, 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 u